What's going on everybody? King of Dragons 5000 here coming at you with another figure review. Today we'll be having a look at the Figma Persona 5 school uniform Joker or just simply the Figma Hero. And so here we have the Figma school uniform Joker or the Figma Hero whichever one you prefer out of the packaging. So before we move on to the figure let's actually take a look at what he comes with. Joker here does come with three different face expressions. We do have a neutral expression where he's looking straight. We have a smirking expression where he's looking off to the right. And then we have a smirking expression where he's looking off to the left. Joker also does come with two hair pieces. We do get one where his glasses are attached to him. We get a hair piece where the glasses are off. We also do get a couple pairs of hands. We do get a pair of fists. We get a pair of style pose open hands. We get a pair of grip hands. We have a pair of hands for holding his cell phone. And then we have a right hand for holding the glasses, which speaking of which, he does come with a loose pair of glasses in case you want to have him holding it. He also does come with a cell phone, which does fit in either of his cell phone holding hands. We do get a bag, which looks really nice. And then we get Morgana the cat, which is a really nice accessory. And you can unpeg the head of Morgana and put it in the school bag to make it look like he's carrying her. And then we also do get the Figma display stand. Other than that, Joker doesn't come with anything else. I think that's a fair amount of accessories for a basic looking figure. So with that out of the way, guys, let's actually move on to his details. And so here we have a closer look at the Figma Joker or Hero, whichever one you want to call him. I know he's labeled as Hero, but I'm going to keep calling him Joker because that's how I know him from Smash Brothers. Never played Persona, but I think this is a really nice figure. Does have some issues in the articulation, but we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. Looking at the figure, it's done really well. Now, in case you're wondering, yes, you can switch all the faceplates from Joker onto the hero here, and vice versa. Even the hairpiece does fit onto that. They pretty much use the same head. Not the head sculpt, but the same head, so you can mix and match parts there, so I do like that. But taking a look at the figure, I really do like the way he looks. And I do like the fact that the lenses on the glasses do have something there. It's not just... Uh, plastic and then it, nothing there. You can see the light reflecting off the lens. You can see his purple eyes behind the glasses so I do like that. His hair is all shaggy. Mop top right there which is pretty traditional for a Joker. I do like that. Taking a look at his school uniform you can see he has a couple of chevrons right here on his turtleneck which they're done exceptionally well. We do have a little silver pendant right here. We have the school insignia right here on his pocket. We have some red buttons going down his sh jacket, so I do like the detail there that the buttons actually look like buttons, they're not just red dots. You can see he has some pockets right here. We have some line work going up to his jacket. Really like the way they did the collar. On the back, you can see he has those buttons and the tabs right here, so that I do like that. There's the hole for where his flight stand does peg on. Really like the how natural it looks. Now Joker is a really lanky character, but overall I still think it looks really good. You can see they sculpted the buttons right here, and then some of his shirt is coming out of the cuff. I do have them with the closed fists, although they're not true f punching fists. They're kind of like uh, he's standing at attention, but they're still close enough to fists. So I really like the way he looks here. He has a really nice shelf presence to him. Then we move on to his pants. He has a pair of plaid pants on and I think they look really good. You can see that they did sculpt some detail in there. That's where the zipper would be. Do they sculpt some pockets on the back? Uh, doesn't look like they did. Oh, they actually did. You can just move the jacket up a little bit. You can see they sculpted a little bit of his pockets right there, so I do like that. His pants don't have too much wrinkles on them. They have wrinkles right up here near the thighs, but they're pretty much tight going all the way around. Nothing wrong with tight pants, but I would like to see some wrinkle detail in his pants because it looks so strange that they're so skin tight and they seem more like leggings than they do uh, school uniform pants. But you can see his boots do look really nice. They have some gray for the sole. 
really like that paint and then we do have some sculpted detail with the laces so overall really do like the way they sculpted joker here he has a really nice looking presence and despite looking all lanky he's really really nice and i do like the way the figure came out and i think he's a wonderful addition to my smash display uh that's where i know him from and that's where he's going to continue to come from but I know he is from Persona, but that's neither here nor there. We're talking about the figure. So, with that out of the way, guys, let's actually get him compared to other figures you may have in your collection. Here we have Joker posing next to a Marvel Legend, Cyclops, and a DC Multiverse Superman. Here we have School Uniform Joker posed next to a WWE Elite Scale figure and a Mezco 112th Collective Popeye the Sailor Man. Here we have School Uniform Joker posed next to a Lightning Collection White Ranger and a Star Wars Black Series Mandalorian. And finally, here we have School Uniform Joker posed next to Persona Joker, and he does seem a little bit taller in his school uniform rather than his Persona. Don't know what's causing that, but he is taller in the school uniform. So with the comparisons out of the way, let's actually move on to his articulation. Now, he does have the standard Figma joint for the head, which is a peg going into the neck, and it's a hinge peg, or ball, normally a ball joint going into the back of the head. So we do get some really nice tilt, although his hair does bunch up right here on his collar, so that is a little bit unfortunate. And because of the way his hair does bunch up in the back, you don't get too much backwards movement, but he gets a pretty decent forward movement. If you do pop his head up a little bit that does improve articulation but then he has a really long neck and that really doesn't look good so do be aware of that does turn left and right no problem arms they are on ball joints so it's a ball socket going into the torso so it does pivot back and forward can drop down can shift up so good range there does do a full 360 no problem there goes out to about that far so we get pretty decent range there he doesn't have a traditional bicep swivel, but we have a swivel up here in the shoulder. We have a Figma joint right here in the elbow, and of course that does rotate as well. You can rotate his lower arm if you wish to. He does have a ball hinge right here in the wrist, so it does move in and out. Or you can rotate that to have an up and down hinge, so I do like that. And of course it rotates on that peg. Now, this is where his articulation is a little bit hindered. He should have a ball joint right here in the torso. Now, because this is a single piece of plastic, it is rubbery, but it's not soft enough to grant him full range. So he really doesn't have any articulation in the chest. And even though it should swivel and bend, unfortunately, we don't get that. Most of your articulation is going to be done at the waist. So that's on a ball joint, so that moves side to side, swivels left and right, crunches forward only to about there, goes back only to about there, and that's because of how thick this piece is. That jacket does hinder articulation a lot, especially in the hips. His hips do go out to about there. They go forward to about there, which is pretty good, seeing as how you can see it starting to bunch up against the jacket right there. Goes back about that far. We do have a thigh swivel, Figma joint in the knee, so it goes a little past 90, so I do like that. We do have a hinge in the ankle, which goes back and forward. Goes back more than it goes forward because you can see the boots starting to bunch up against the pant leg right there. Forward facing pin for rocker, we get rotation, and then we also do have a toe hinge on this version of Joker. So overall, really do like the way this figure came out. So what we're going to do now is get him posed for my final thoughts, and then we'll wrap up this review. And so here we have the Figma Hero or School Uniform Joker posed for my final thoughts. Overall, I really like the way this figure came out, and I mainly got this figure to go into my Smash, smash display, excuse me. But overall, I think it's still a really well done figure. I love the accessories it came with, especially the cat and the bag. I think that's probably my favorite thing. If I do have one little issue, it's with the articulation on this figure. Now, I do have to stress that you be that you have to be very careful with the glasses, putting them into his glasses holding hand, just because they are really thin and that's a really tight fit, so you might end up putting too much pressure and accidentally breaking it. My advice to you is to heat the hand up before putting the glasses in. I haven't had an issue yet, but that is something to note, that you might end up putting too much pressure on the glasses and breaking them. Other than that, I still think uh, Figma Hero or School Uniform Joker is a nice addition to my collection. Now, 
if you are looking for this figure, you will have to get them off secondary market. I was lucky enough to be looking online and stumble upon the Good Smiley website for the US releases and Joker was available for pre-order so I just pre-ordered him not knowing that this was a Wonder uh, Wonder Festival is was that right? Wonder Festival exclusive figure. I had no idea until I got it and there's a sticker on the box saying Wonder Festival exclusive and I'm like oh I had no idea about that. And I don't know the secondhand market for this Joker. Just be aware that if you do go on eBay and see it for $20, more than likely it's a fake. So if you're looking for the authentic thing, you might have to look a little harder. And he might be a little tricky to come by seeing as how he was an exclusive figure. If you can get your hands on this figure, I think he's a really wonderful uh, piece to own for your Persona collection for your Smash collection, or if you just want a really nice school uniform body, this is a really good figure. With that being said, guys, I'm King of Dragons 5000. Don't forget to like this video, leave a comment, subscribe to my channel, go check out all my other action figure reviews as well as all my other Figma videos. Hopefully, you find them informative. As always, if there's a figure you would like to see me review, let me know down in the comments. And if it fits in my collection, I'll definitely have a look at it. While you're at it, check out my Instagram account for new and exciting action figure photos. And as always, Ring that bell to be notified every time I upload a video. Until next time, guys, I'll see you later. Take care, everyone.